गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर के अग्रवाल फ्रेंड्स टूडे ऑन दी हेवी डिमांड ऑफ ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ पर्टिकुलरली फाउंडेशन स्टूडेंट्स एंड सी एम ए इंटरमीडिएट स्टूडेंट आई एम फोर्स टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू सीरीज हियर एंड द न्यू सीरीज द टॉपिक फॉर द न्यू सीरीज इज कंसाइनमेंट अकाउंट्स फ्रेंड्स कंसाइनमेंट अकाउंट्स is one of the most important chapter as far as your foundation is concerned ca foundation cs foundation and cma foundation as well okay friends and for your kind information i would like to say uh, this chapter this particular chapter is also included in your syllabus of intermediate especially when you are doing cma and cma and cma intermediate you will find consignment account as well but the level of question would be a bit higher okay as far as whenever you compare to this topic or this chapter with foundation syllabus otherwise basic fundamental topics basic fundamental contents and other things will remain same and the level of understanding the level of knowledge basic knowledge is required as far as foundation is concerned but uh, working knowledge is required whenever you are in intermediate okay so today we will start a new series and that new series will be introduction to consignment so many students have consulted me and they said that sir consignment topic is problem suiting for us so please start once again the topic consignment and make us all clear Uh, regarding consignment topic so i am forced to do the same uh, first of all i would like to see how many students are connected and how many are here and uh, for uh, the sake of your knowledge i would like to say friends uh, the economic segment was running and mcqs regarding production function and uh, production theory Uh, revenue cost etc etc uh, were going on but uh, today i have uh, broken that uh, sequence i'm really for, sorry for that and from tomorrow or onwards we will discuss on it as well uh, as far as your economics is concerned so friends uh, today just due to the request which has been made by several students several viewers today i am doing an introduction an introduction to consignments consignment accounts okay uh, so many students have uh, joined so please make a pool here to friends good morning yes good morning to all of you uh, sabhi ne good morning kaha hai uh, well done so friends let's start what is consignment all about let me make you all clear the topic consignment consignment accounts here you will find consignment account when we talk about parties here you will find only two parties number 1 the consigner and number 2 the consignee what is consignment all about first let me make you all clear what is consignment all about it is a shipment shipment of goods consignment is shipment of goods from one place to another one place to another suppose you are at delhi okay and you are sending goods goods sent to agent at kanpur 
you are here at Delhi and your agent is at Kanpur here is the agent and this agent and this person he, he will be called consigner and agent will be called consignee so what is consignment all about consigner and consignee here you will find agreement there must be an agreement between these two persons the consigner and the consignee the consigner dispatches the goods he is also known as principal he is also known as consigner consigner and principal both are same the consigner dispatches goods to his agent who is at kanpur okay the goods are being dispatched by the by the principal who is in delhi and the goods are being dispatched at kanpur why such goods are being sent for sale on commission basis for sale on commission basis if the consigner or the principal who is in delhi and sending or dispatching the goods to his agent who is in kanpur definitely that goods will be sent by that person to this person for the purpose of selling such goods on commission basis okay so here we can understand the goods are being dispatched by one person to another for making sale on behalf of that principal the agent will act on behalf of that principal okay so there is an agreement there is an agreement between the consigner and the consigner what should be the price of the goods what should be the selling price of the, that goods what should be the rate of commission and how the amount would be reimbursed by that consignee if he will sell the goods and he will collect the amount and definitely he will have to reimburse that amount or he will have to keep that amount with himself intact so commission rate will be discussed expense how expense will be deducted bills of exchange will be drawn or not drawn advance what would be the amount of advance which will be given by the agent to the principal it it is also a case of advance amount so we will have to understand what is consignment all about so first of all i am introducing there is always two parties two parties to the consignment number 1 the principal or the consigner and number 2 agent or consignee the consigner dispatches goods to his agent to be sold at his own risk whose risk principal's risk by the agent the goods will be sold by the agent and the entire risk on the goods will be in the hands of consigner and he will get what he will get the consignee what he will get commission okay so up now we will talk about the features whatever we have talk let us now conclude the features of consignment features of consignment what are the features of consignment number one feature what is the number one feature there must be at least two parties and if you are watching it my dear students if you haven't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it as soon as possible and if you are watching this video please like it let me see how many persons and share this live streaming and please put pen and notebook before you to note this features all the features of consignment there must be at least two persons number 2 there must be and 
अग्रीमेंट नंबर थ्री देर इज प्रिंसिपल एंड एजेंट रिलेशनशिप नंबर फोर गुड्स आर सेंट बाय द प्रिंसिपल नंबर फाइव माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी क्वेरी इफ यू आर हैविंग हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम यू मे यू मे सेंड इट थ्रू द इनबॉक्स वाय इनबॉक्स वी विल take it okay so please note it down and let me see oh, thank you thank you my dear friends you all are doing quite well so i am really very sorry that i have started uh, without having your consent uh, consignment but uh, to from tomorrow economics will <laughs> run and i would put recorded videos uh, regarding consignment okay so please forgive me for this action i hope you will not mind you all will not mind i will be continued okay my dear friends so please please i hope you will not mind and if you are having any problem please comment and uh, please uh, inbox me okay and please share this video this live streaming i would be extremely thankful to all of you and please join as much as you can and inform all your students uh, all your friends all your colleagues all your juniors to join this live streaming because i am today i am discussing about uh, consignment account and one thing i would like to ask to all of you and please uh, inform me uh, i am using english here is it okay or do you have any problem regarding language what do you say this is very important for me friends i am i am i am speaking and i am making you all understand in different language and i think you all are quite good at english and most of the students even state board students are well versed subham kumar gora please continue thank you subham thank you subham i need your support your moral support there should not be any communication gap beta and please communicate me whatever problem you are having okay i am always with you and i will never let you all down so don't worry about it i am going to improve all the qualities all the contents and all the matters all the matters all the things upgraded okay whatever i am delivering whatever i am going to do okay you can watch right now i am having a bit problem but this problem will not sustain for too long okay this is a pandemic situation and you know about it that our institution will reopen after 15th of august and you all must be integrated and united and you all must support me to deliver my best okay and i am ready to do the same so please cooperate me please support me and i would deliver my best and this live streaming must move towards everywhere and someone who are watching someone who are not watching they will watch later on and definitely my message must go to them okay so i'm continuing here okay the features of consignment consignments feature what are the features of consignment and i'm trying to use as simple as i can okay 
I'm not using proper phonetics. I'm not using difficult words. I'm not using complex statements. Okay. I'm trying to make the live streaming easy. Okay. And what I want to say that all my students are capable of listening, capable of answering, capable of understanding and capable of answering to all. Okay. So just move here. Okay. And focus here. There must be at least two persons. Minimum of two person. Two persons are required for consignment. One would be called consigner the two person two person who will be the two persons number one consigner and number two will be consignee okay friends there must be an agreement regarding what there may be several topics several points in the agreement and the agreement you know about agreement you have studied what you have studied Indian Contract Act okay the Indian Contract Act 1872 agreement or contract you know about it and whatever matter both these two person want they will incorporate in that agreement okay like what would be the rate of commission what would be the amount of advance how the balance will be reimbursed okay all these matters will be incorporated in the agreement Someone, we are always with you, sir. Thank you, Bita Richa, Abhishek Ji, okay. Ankita Kumari, yes, sir. Richa Sarma, yes, sir. Definitely. Priyansu Misra, whatever the problem is, we must be helpful to each and everyone in our ACC family. That's the spirit, Priyansu. I'm proud of you, Bita. Right, Priyansu. Abhishek Yadav Ji, yeah. Richa, Khushi, Salini, Priyansu Misra, happy. Ria Kumari, that's the power of ACC family. Ria, uh, you have to prove your metal beta. You have to prove. And you are having immense potential. Yesterday, I was not able to have a chat with you. But I will talk to you later on. Okay. Deepak. Thank you, Mr. Deepak Srivastava. Anurag ji. Nice. I will come strongly, but I will come strongly and you will have to prove and you all will definitely prove to rest of India that what you have done. Nation first desh ki awaj. Uh, my dear students, <laughs> I would like to say one thing to all of you. Uh, someone has nation first desh ki awaj. If you want to be updated you must subscribe this channel nation first desh ki awaj okay nation first desh ki awaj is a new channel which is basically working on youtube and some laurels have created this new channel and if you want to be updated you should subscribe it okay friends so shall we move here okay there is Principal and agent relationship, at least two person, consigner and consignee, who will be the principal? Consigner will be called principal and agent will be consignee or consignee will be agent. This relationship exists between these two persons. Goods are sent by the principal. Definitely the subject matter will be goods here. Okay, movable goods. And goods will be dispatched by the principal, which will be received by the agent and that agent will sell. And the risk as far as risk is concerned, the risk will always be in the hands of principal or consigner. It is not the risk of consignee who sell the goods on behalf of consigner. Okay, my dear friends, I think you all would have understood. Abhishek ji gussa na ho, Abhishek ji gussa na ho. Yes, beta, we are not students. We are just like a family. Okay, friends. Goods are sent by the principal. Goods are 
received and sold by the agent ye five these five points are very very significant and important number 6 there must be a commission commission is must whenever we talk about consignment you know about it calculation of consignees commission is one of the most significant matter it becomes the complex matter and we will discuss about it my dear friends if you are watching it seriously and having pen and copy you will feel just like your face to face class okay and you are free to ask question to me and i am having tab and laptops here okay even though i can watch it on my tv okay so i am having accessories here but uh, technically i am not so sound but uh, it will take a bit time to be familiar with all these gadgets so i will deliver my best so don't worry about it there must be a commission and commission who will receive commission and who will pay commission who will receive commission and who will pay commission your answer will be definitely you will answer that consignee will receive commission and who will allow commission consigner will allow commission consigner yani principal it means principal will allow commission and the consignee will receive commission and what the what would be the rate of commission and how commission will be calculated it will be the subject matter of agreement okay next point the goods are at the risk of the goods are at the risk of consigner goods consigner goods are at the risk of consigner and when the consignee sold the goods the risk passes to the buyer unless until the consigner remain responsible for all the damages or losses of the goods okay so these are the basic features of consignment accounts or consignment let us now discuss which types of accounts are prepared and what are the accounting methodology okay friends <clears throat> parties we know about it parties to a consignment first one is the consigner and the second one is the agent one of the most important thing i would like to say to all of you friends consigner will be interested to know profit loss he will be interested consigner will be interested to know the profit or loss whatever he has earned and whatever he has lost okay friends the consigner would be will be interested to know what is the profit on a particular consignment or what are the losses he has suffered on a particular consignment okay friends but the agent or the principal he will be interested in what what he will want to know definitely you will say commission he will be interested to know what is the amount of his commission okay point number 1 and what is the balance of total sale proceeds he will have to send to the principal after deducting his expense 
and commission my dear friends please concentrate here please focus here the agent will want to know what the agent will want to know commission the amount of commission he has earned what is the amount of commission he has earned after selling the goods of consigner or the principal as per the agreement and its calculation will be made okay what is the balance of total sale proceeds which he will have to send which he will have to send to the principal principal after deducting his expenses and commission so these two points will be considered by the agent and what the consigner would want to know first thing profit or loss second thing the same but the amount which is to be received from agent agent number 3 what is the amount of unsold stock is there any abnormal loss etc etc here it may be basically the consigner will focus on the point what is the amount of profit or loss second the amount which is to be received from agent and the agent will consider what is the amount which we have to pay to the consigner and what is the amount of unsold stock the consigner will definitely want to inspect the quantity and the valuation of unsold stock the consigner will do the valuation of unsold stock and how unsold stock will be made it will be discussed later on this segment okay in the next session we will discuss different topics regarding consignment and my dear friends if you will stay at least one hour every day at least one hour and with plan definitely you will make your all doubts clear okay so the these two points or three points here and uh, approximately two or three points will be considered by the consigner and consignee now both these two parties the consigner and consignee which accounts will be prepared by both these two parties in their own books of accounts we will discuss right now okay and how commission will be calculated and how unsold stock will be done we will discuss in the later session and as per your need and as per your demand we will discuss about it and definitely i will take your queries i will take your questions so many students have asked me or requested me to deliver this topic that is why i am doing this one okay friends so now accounts to be prepared by number 1 consigner and number 2 the agent which account will be prepared by consigner profit loss for the purpose of just we have discussed profit loss consigner would want to know whether he has earned or lost so for this purpose consigner will prepare an account which will be termed as the consignment account consignment account will be prepared and this account is nominal account we will discuss about it what is consignment account how consignment account is prepared and what are the basic fundamental rules for preparing consignment account is this account is different from other another accounts what are the features of consignment account we will discuss in detail and in depth okay i'm not going rapidly i'm going very slowly very slowly so that anyone can understand this consignment topic okay so we will discuss what is consignment account later on we will discuss right now whatever i am doing just try to understand my dear students the first thing the consigner would want to know the profit or loss the consigner will prepare consignment account in his books okay next point he will want to know he wanted to know 
the balance amount the balance amount to be received from agent the next account will be prepared the consignee's account the consignee's account will be prepared by the consigner okay friends these are the two basic accounts which will be prepared by consigner or you can say in the books of consigner these two basic accounts will always be prepared the agent's account or the consignee's account or the consignment account consignment account will denote or disclose the profit or loss which has been earned or suffered by the consigner and the consignee's account will reveal or disclose the balance amount which will be reimbursed by the consignee or agent excuse me friends let me see uh, are you getting friends very nice consignment account is which type of account deepak has asked subham kumar gaurav has replied very nice friends come on keep it up asutosh singh is saying nominal subham verma uh, at the rate deepak nominal khushi kumari nominal priyanshu misra nominal very nice good morning priyanshu verma ji priyanshi verma sorry <laughs> subham kumar gaurav yes sir richa yes sir salini message deleted abhishek ji yes sir yes sir nominal 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 very good and the consignee account what will you call the consignee account personal real or nominal what will you say the consignee account what about the consignee account come on friends personal 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 priyanshu misra performa is why invoice is preliminary bill of sale sent to the buyer before the shipment performa invoice is what is performa invoice and invoice is there any difference between these two friends what is performa invoice and what is performa invoice and invoice what is pro forma invoice and invoice is there any difference between these two yes sir difference has sir what are the differences between these two pro forma invoice and invoice is there any differences is there any differences invoice is sent to buyer but performa is very nice subham excellent in hindi performa invoice is called kaccha bijak okay in hindi performa invoice is called kaccha bijak bijak it means invoice okay friends and pro forma invoice is just like duplicate invoice not final invoice but invoice is final which is given to the buyer by the seller okay and whenever consignment uh, whenever consigner send goods or dispatches his goods dispatches goods to his agent he prepares pro forma invoice because it is not sale this point should be understand very good gurpreet singh ji pro forma invoice mein hum log price zyada dikhate hain to hide real price cost and rahul risa richa invoice is sent to buyer but performa invoice sent to consignee by the consigner sukriti sina invoice for buyer pay to consignee riya kumari performa invoice is sent by consigner sahi baat deepak ji srivastav ji buyer will get the invoice but performa invoice is given only to consignee by consigner in consignment account shalini invoice is sent by the buyer to perform and sent to the consignee very nice absolutely correct you all are very very good bahut bahut badhiya perfect okay friends these two accounts are basic accounts is there any chance or should i ask 
Will consigner prepare any other account in his books? And if yes, please name here. Please name here. Put the name here. Which account or accounts will be prepared by consigner in his books? Goods sent on consignment account, Subham. Very nice. Goods sent on consignment account. Goods sent on consignment account. Another account will be opened. Any abnormal loss account. If any goods sent on consignment account, consignee account, we have mentioned dear Abhinay. Consignee account uh, GSC, goods sent on consignment, Asutos, Bilkul Sahi. Goods sent on consignment account. Abnormal loss account, correct. Okay. Which account will be prepared by the agent or consignee? First, the consigner account. Second, debtor's account third commission account it may be okay one thing i would like to ask to all of you friends uh, who have joined this live streaming uh, friends uh, please answer uh, is my voice clear number one question number two my question is visibility regarding visibility of the content okay i would like to ask to all of you regarding the visibility of the content okay whatever i have written on that that particular board so please uh, uh, yes sir voice is clear gurpreet singh uh, one yes everything is perfect deepak srivastava thank you deepak once again, thank you. Four twenty PP. Yes, sir. Clear. So uh, that why I am asking this question. Uh, just uh, make me clear, because I want to start the face to face, like face to face classes. Okay. What whatever you have done in your classes. Okay, in the same fashion, same manner, I want to start here. Okay, and that is why uh, yesterday I was arranging so many devices and so many equipments and uh, you, you might have seen uh, I was facing a bit problem while uh, live streaming. And that is why I'm asking this question because you are the best judge and you are the best guide who can suggest me how to tackle and how to overcome the problems okay so thanks guys once again so these are the basic accounts which will be prepared by the consigner and the consignee okay friends so i'm moving towards the next segment of this topic today only we will take introduction what we have to study what we have to learn what we have to make the concept clear okay friends topics covered what you have to do in this chapter particularly in consignment account which topic will have to be discussed what we will have to discuss what we will have to learn and which types of questions will be asked from that topic now i am going to point out pinpoint those topics okay friends so first Preparation of consignment accounts. Number two, preparation of consignees account. Number three, preparation of 
कंसाइनर्स अकाउंट नंबर फोर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एब नॉर्मल लॉस अकाउंट नंबर फाइव दीज आर दीगमेंट्स इन विच वी विल लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर दीज अकाउंट ओके वॉट आर द बेसिक फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग दीज फोर अकाउंट दीज आर दोर बेसिक अकाउंट विच विल बी प्रिपेयर अंडर द हेड कंसाइनमेंट अकाउंट ओके नाउ सम कैलकुलेशन एंड सम अदर टॉपिक्स विच विल सपोर्ट इन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ऑल दीज अकाउंट नंबर वन सॉरी नंबर फिफ्थ कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कंसाइनिस कमीशन एजेंट्स कमीशन दिस इज दी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कैलकुलेशन एज फार एज कंसाइनमेंट अकाउंट इज कंसर्न वन फोर्टी फोर पे भी क्लियर है वेरी गुड थैंक यू वॉइस इज परफेक्ट सौरभ दयाल ऑल क्लियर सर ओके जी थैंक यू सौरभ जी सौरभ जी आपको भी कंसाइनमेंट में प्रॉब्लम हो रही थी इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग थैंक यू दीपक वन फोर्टी फोर पे पूरी तरह से विजिबल है एंड वॉइस क्वालिटी इज ऑल्सो गुड थैंक यू बेटा थैंक यू नंबर सिक्स कैलकुलेशन ऑफ आई विल नॉट राइट कैलकुलेशन वैल्युएशन ऑफ अनसोल्ड स्टॉक नंबर सेवन वैल्युएशन ऑफ अनसोल्ड स्टॉक एंड नंबर सेवन वैल्युएशन ऑफ गुड्स इन ट्रांजिट नंबर एट वैल्युएशन ऑफ गुड्स लॉस्ट इन ट्रांजिट नंबर नाइन वैल्युएशन ऑफ गुड्स लॉस्ट इन द हैंड्स ऑफ एजेंट नंबर टेन ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ नॉर्मल लॉस नंबर इलेवन एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ एडवांस पेमेंट by agent if there is some unsold the stock laying with the agent etc okay friends first of all we will understand all these 11 topics okay and always you will have to keep in your mind all these 11 topics all these 11 topics you will have to keep in your mind while solving the questions complete question of consignment account okay all these 11 points and furthermore we have written etc we will discuss later on but today just i want to throw light just i want to throw light okay on these 11 points the first point you know about it preparation of consignment account we will discuss later on how consignment account is prepared and what are the contents of consignment account which will be prepared by consigner okay 
preparation of consignee's account. Both these two accounts will be prepared by the consigner and consigner account will be prepared by the agent. This account, this is the only account which will be prepared by the agent. It will be prepared in the books of agent. Points should be remembered. Consigner account will be prepared by consignee and consignee's account will be prepared by consigner and consignment account will also be prepared by the consigner. Okay, friends. Now, preparation of abnormal loss account. Who will prepare? Once again, consigner. Consigner will never prepare abnormal loss account. Okay, because risk, the matter of risk, you know about it. Who is having risk? The owner. And who is the owner of the goods? Even though the goods has been transferred by the principal to his agent or to the consigner. Sorry, consignee. Who is having the risk of the goods? The consigner. And if there is any abnormal loss, who will take into account such loss? The principal. And the principal is consigner. So the abnormal loss account will be prepared by the consigner. Okay, friends. Now, so all these four points are well understood. Basically, calculation of consignee's commission or agent's commission. This is the topic upon which a minute study or deep study is required. Several types of commissions are allowed by the consigner to his agent. And we will discuss later on all this topic one by one. First of all, please note it down all these 11 topics and we will discuss one by one on each of them. Okay. And when we move towards the calculation of consignee's commission or agent's commission, definitely it will take at least one class, my dear student at least one class because that class would be very slow very smooth reason behind this slow segment is to make you all understand all the topics regarding calculation of commission okay friends so we will discuss about calculation of commission and for the sake of your understanding or value point of view the calculation of agent commission is very significant because so many questions are asked by the boards different boards and different examination calculation of consignee's commission is very important topic so you will have to pay attention here and valuation of unsold stock it is one of the most essential element without which you cannot prepare both these two account both these two calculation are very essential for preparing consignment account without these two calculations you cannot prepare consignment account okay so these two calculations are very significant valuation of unsold stock consignees commission valuation of goods lost in transit these are the rare cases but if it happens unsold loss unsold goods goods lost goods in transit goods lost in transit valuation of goods lost in the hands of agent if all are given then all becomes significant for the purpose of preparing consignment account so before going to start what is consignment account and how it is prepared we will have to understand how consignee's commission is calculated and how valuation of unsold stock is done how goods lost in transit yeah it means abnormal loss is valued and how what are the difference between these two valuation of goods lost in transit and valuation of goods lost in the hands of agent both are different thing this goods has been lost before reaching at the destination and that goods has been lost after reaching its destination okay the consigner has dispatched the goods but during transit the goods lost this will be called goods lost in transit and its valuation will be different okay and valuation of goods lost valuation of goods lost in the hands of agent it means it has reached the final destination okay and its valuation would be different both these valuation would be different and valuation would differ so that is why i have written separately both these two items and now treatment of normal loss how normal loss is treated and how normal loss is accounted it is significant matter 
okay however it is not taken into account but while calculating or while valuing unsold stock or goods lost in transit or goods lost in uh, goods goods in transit valuation of goods in transit it is still in transit but not lost it is lost in transit and it is lost after reaching the destination and normal loss so is there any difference between normal and abnormal loss is there any difference between normal and abnormal loss my dear friends are you getting whatever i am saying because it is not feasible and possible for me friends that whenever i am discussing here and i'm dealing here then i cannot watch simultaneously your comments so uh, please forgive me for that so please comment keep on commenting uh, if goods lost in the hands of consignee who will bear the loss definitely consigner beta if goods if goods lost due to negligence of consignee or agent then that would be borne by the agent okay yes sir Very nice friends. There is difference between normal and abnormal loss. Okay, okay friends. Normal and abnormal loss. There are differences between these two. Okay friends. Hanji. come on friends <clears throat> now treatment of normal loss we have reached at the point 10th adjustment of advance payment by agent if there is some unsold stock laying with the agent this point is also very significant friends and whenever you solve advance level problems this point is given and this is very very significant but it is very often ignored by the students and under underestimated by the students how this adjustment takes place and i have prepared two videos regarding this consignment topic and you can see and i would share the link and how this adjustment will be done and otherwise definitely i will go through all these topics okay so friends now it's your turn now you are free to ask any question regarding all the 11 points we will discuss but basic fundamental questions whatever you have gone through and whatever you struck whatever things struck in your mind you can ask to me okay friends so now it's your turn this just ask questions subham ya yeah, sir point mein problem hota hai I will make you understand, friends. इस point में problem सभी को होता है खुशी कुमारी ओक के सर Normal loss cannot be avoided. Abnormal loss loss is avoidable on account of precautions. Shalini Kumari nominal loss normal loss increases price and abnormal loss no. क्लोजिंग स्टॉक बीएस में शो होता है यस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक बैलेंस शीट में शो होता है फ्रेंड्स नॉर्मल लॉस आर इनहेरेंट इन नेचर बट अब नॉर्मल लॉस अराइजेज ड्यू टू नेग्लिजेंस एंड एक्सीडेंट नॉर्मल लॉस एज द नेम सजेस्ट नॉर्मल लॉस इज नॉर्मल इट विल हैपन इट विल अकर नो वन कैन स्टॉप एन अब नॉर्मल द कॉज इज अब नॉर्मल due to any abnormal cause which is not normal which is which is not inherent quality due to inherent quality or uh, feature of the commodity or goods okay it is abnormal loss uh last point se question hai ca study mat mein jo complicated hai sir ओके फ्रेंड मिस्टर शुभम कुमार गौरव वी विल डिस्कस एंड वट एवर क्वेश्चन हैज बिन गिवेन बाई योर इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आई वुड गो थ्रू दी क्वेश्चन विच हैज बिन गिवेन बाई योर इंस्टीट्यूट वेदर इट इज आई सी ए आई आई सी एम ए आई वट एवर ओके एंड वी विल डिस्कस 
the practical questions which has been given by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and Institute of Cost and Management Accountant of India. Okay. Go there. Okay, friends. <clears throat> Deepak bhai a good example calculation of normal loss is deducted in deducted from both quality and quantity or not calculation of normal loss is deducted deducted from both quality and quantity or not so question uh, there is no question of quality my dear friend okay but quantity as far as quantity is concerned it is deducted the cost become total cost whatever you have incurred become the cost of whatever quantity you have suppose you have purchased 100 tons of apples cost rupees 1 lakh suppose and you have remitted that apples to your agent 100 tons and it becomes 98 tons Two tons were lost due to inherent quality, moisture, due to loss of moisture. Okay. So quality is not deteriorated. Quality is intact, but quantity is reduced. Okay. But the cost of that 98 tons becomes rupees 1 lakh. This is the difference. You all have to understand. Normal loss mirror ka business tha lene mein toot jata hai an abnormal loss lene mein truck hi accident ho gaya ha ha really very good example mr deepak srivastav ji <laughs> maine bhi example de diya hai and I, I have also given you example of apples okay apple okay friends so tomorrow, uh, oh friends, uh, I will have to end this live streaming right now and uh, please forgive me for that. I think you have enjoyed a lot and you might have understood all these points and all these topics, whatever I have discussed today and tomorrow we will discuss if you comment me and if you suggest me if you message me i'm not saying that uh, right now but uh, in your whatsapp group on whatever your sources are through which you can communicate me that whether i should continue with all these topics or whether i should go for economics so you will have to answer me and you will have to suggest me whether I should continue in this particular week because this is Wednesday Wednesday today tomorrow will be Thursday Friday and Saturday within three days once again I would repeat all these topics of consignment so it's your turn and your role so what you want I will deliver okay so friends I would say thanks a ton for supporting me and I'm really thankful to all you guys keep on connecting keep on sharing and keep on exchanging the good thoughts with me and if you are having any type of problem please send me okay so thank you guys bye bye see you tomorrow thank you <laughs>